Hi, Felina Hansen here at Hera Hub, and today I'm interviewing Miss Candice Van Wy. She is the founder of Social Creative Studios. And Candice, you help small businesses, small to mid-sized companies with social media, digital presence. Mm -hmm. Tell Online me. presence. So okay. like I do a lot of ghostwriting for blog posts, I do social media. Um, and I also write website copies, so if they have, you know, they want an about page or something like that, I'll write that for different companies. Great. Well, it's really important to me just because um, in my family, it wasn't a big thing about entrepreneurship. I almost feel like where I come from, especially in the black community, they didn't even know they could be entrepreneurs. It was kind of just like, we have to get a job and go to work. And then I came home and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, you know, start my own business. And everybody's like, what? Like, no. So it's really important for me to be example, especially to my younger cousins and my younger siblings and to people in my community that we can do it. We can have a business and be successful and make enough money to pay our bills and, you know, love what we do. That's awesome. And where are you from? I'm from South Carolina. Okay. It's a really, really small town called North. Okay. All right. And what brought you to San Diego? Adventure. After college, I knew I wanted to move either to California or New York, and New York was too cold. So San Diego was like the warmest city. <laughs> San Francisco was not was too cold, and then LA was too crowded. So yeah, exactly. Just, and then you know, we my husband asked the Navy if he could move here, and they said yeah. So we ended up up here together. So it's kind of nice. That is awesome. And one last question for you, Candace. Do you feel like I mean we, we've come so far in the last thirty or so years, but what? What challenges are still ahead in, in really bringing true equality to our society? Well, again, like I said, number one, awareness that this is something that we can pursue. And number two, people seeing us as competent mm -hmm. because a lot of the times, even just even being young too, people think that I can't do it or I get, well, you speak so well because people think they don't expect my voice to come out of my body. So I think just breaking down stereotypes. So what I think it's going to take is for more people to take the plunge kind of the way I did and, and show that we're, you know, we can present ourselves well and we can own businesses and we can do anything. So of course you can. Yeah, it's everybody just, it's can. shocking. Yeah, and, oh, <laughs> no, but I think what it's really going to take is for more people to just be at the forefront and encouraging role and start models. role models starting from a very young age, starting from high school, middle school. Yeah. Absolutely. How old were you when you started your business? When I started this business, yeah. I was 21 years old. Wow. And did you have a prior business to that? or Well, I like to tell people that I became an entrepreneur in middle school. They took all the candy out of the machine, so I would go to the store and buy this huge, big, like 200-piece bag of gum for $2 and sell each piece for 10 to 25 cents each. Nice. So that was kind of like what I did. That's, a great that's how I started in entrepreneurship. I realized like, oh, I should sell something that people need or want. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I started, I, I became an entrepreneur in middle school. Brilliant. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Thanks for spending time with me. Candace. Thank you. Of course.